Okay, hello guys, so this is Redmi 3S and it's running Android 11 using Line 8 OS. Okay, this is Unify ROM and it is called MSM8937. Okay, so it means that you can run on the Redmi 3S, Redmi 4, 4X, 4A, 5A, Note 5A, Lite, and Prime. Okay, very nice. So you can revive your old phone using your Android version. So this ROM is very fast, very smooth. I like it very much. Okay. So all the file and step I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. If you have any question, feel free to ask on the comment section. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Ombop and in my hand now I have open, very open, this is the Redmi 3S. This is a very open and I, if I'm not mistaken, this phone is released about 2016, okay, so uh it aids about seven years so okay and it's stuck on android 6 so in this video we will give it a new life revamp this one we're going to flash uh android 11. it's unify so it means that we can use it on the redmi 3s 34 4x 4a 5A, not A, and not A prime. Okay, lots of one that's going to support this phone. And <clears throat> for the Unify ROM, it's called the MSM8937. Okay, it's the Unify name. And it is using the retrofit dynamic partition. Okay, uh, credits goes to the OX Cafe Baby. Before we get started like usual let's check about pawn you can see right here <coughs> the last android security patch is 2016 stuck on android 6 on mute 10.2.2 okay first thing to do enable the developer option by hit the mute first and five times go back additional settings developer option and turn on the OM unlock okay now let's turn it off and now we are in the Facebook mode again okay let's check the bootloader status and we can see right here uh, the device unlock status now it's true it means that we have successfully unlocked the bootloader okay <laughs> then next step we have the two best files here, do it one and do it two. Let's open the do it one, then open the do it two. Okay, do it automatically. Let's do a custom recovery and boot it into the custom recovery. Okay, we'll just need to wait until it's booted. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. If uh, the pawn has four passport, just cancel it swipe it go to the wipe we need to format the data because it's encrypted format data tap yes okay mm. then i need to change the custom recovery so if you get to the install menu select storage i put it into the micro sd find a folder this is the folder and install image okay we are going to use the trp 3.7 uh retrofit dynamic okay select recovery swipe it done now let's reboot again to recovery select reboot and recovery and if uh, show you like this just select do not install and now we are in the custom recovery again now we are using the trp 3.7 okay first thing you need to do the next step is go to the settings right here and 
as file option where is it kind of forgot oh this one okay so you must uncheck unmount system before installing okay uncheck this one go back <clears throat> then go to the install find the folder again and from here you need to flash the me 8937 right to fit dynamic partition okay swipe it done just ignore the error message right here and then select wipe go to the advanced wipe uh, select the delphic data cache and also uh, the metadata okay swipe it okay just ignore the error message go back find the folder again uh, sorry where you put the file and then let's select the custom ROM okay swipe it Okay, let's wait take several times so i will skip this one it's done you can sure it here patching system vendor product and other stuff okay just ignore also the error message go back go to the install and this time i want to flash the gaps okay if you don't use gap you can skip this one okay this is on root 11 and i'm going to use the nick gaps arm 64 Okay, let's wait. Okay, uh, so basically this method is used to install the latest ROM for the all pawn at me 3 s 44A, 9A and other stuff. Okay. Select Y format data tap yes. Okay, to format the data. And at after it finishes you can select reboot system. As I said before, the retrofit method is needed. Otherwise, you cannot install the latest Android. Okay, using this method, we can use the latest Android for our pawn, such as Android uh, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, <clears throat> maybe in the next video, I will show you Android 13 using Rising OS just a uh, review about ROM okay now you can see the boot logo is changing to the line 8 and I will skip this one okay now we are in the home screen so I have inserted several apps right here you can see <clears throat> let's take a quick review and see right here it's very smooth it has new UI display and other stuff. Okay. And this is the settings. Let me try as I usually after passing around. Enable the build number five times. <clears throat> Go to the system. Find the developer option. And change the animation scale. Okay. Like better when it's 0 0.5. Because it feel more smoother. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I have that's the offline charging is working and the camera and also the video recording also working. And oh, I also already test the camera taking a picture and also record video. You can see right here this is the result. And this is the result of the video recording. Okay, can the dark don't expect it too much because basically the camera is not very good okay this is the front camera okay nice it's all working and i also already test the <coughs> the sound and video playback it's working perfectly okay let's try to play it
Okay, I hope you heard it. There is no problem with the sound video. Now, <clears throat> let's take a test, root beer and other stuff. I also already tested it past the root beer, so it's quite safe enough for banking apps and a wallet. Next, usually you will ask for the email. Okay, I will show you. The email is safe, no problem with the email. And we also have Wi Fi working on and also the SIM card. Okay, the SIM card also working, but I don't have data, so let's use the Wi Fi. And I also already set up the fingerprint, it's working very nice. Okay, bye. And I also already test the uh, <coughs> offline charging. There is no problem with the offline charging. Okay, now let's test the CPU throttle. Don't expect it too much because we already got much. Okay, <laughs> Storm is very nice, <coughs> very fast, very smooth. I love it. Okay, this is the best Android 11 ROM for this spawn. You can see it's quite stable on 68 GPS and uh, very nice. Okay. okay, it has a uh, down for a while, but it's not a problem. I'll assume you just use it for social media or my mobile agent and other stuff. Okay, let's stop this one. And what else? I don't know. Yeah, that's all the stuff. <clears throat> so for the verdict, the ROM is quite good, quite fast, quite stable. And it's usable for daily driver, okay, if you want to revive your pun. Okay, that's all guys. I hope it helps you. If you want to buy me coffee, you can check the link. Um, for Indonesian, Siberia, or PayPal from other country so that's all take care assalamualaikum see you in the next video